Hey Virgo, this is Kelly from House of Virgo. This is going to be your next 24 hours love reading for all Virgos, Virgo Sun, Moon Rising, and Venus. Some of the messages may or may not resonate. Just take what fits, leave the rest. If you'd like to get a personal reading from me, there's a link in the description box below this video. You can just click on that link and that will take you directly to my booking site for a one hour phone call reading. Okay, so if you're new, welcome to my channel. Please, if you like this video, please do hit like, share, and subscribe on your way out. Okay, Virgo, let's take a look at the past position with the person you may have on your mind at this time. <clears throat> Present and the future. Okay. Aww. Mm. All right, Virgo, I'm going to do my best here to give you <clears throat> the best reading that I can. But let's see what the love message is here for the past. What was the love messages? I see definitely you were trying to cut through and get some clarity about a situation in your past that left you feeling kind of confused with someone. There was definitely chemistry and a desire to take a relationship to the next level with someone from your past. I see you being quite stable in a lot of ways, um, making your money, working hard, being routine, you know, making sure your cabinets were filled and, um, you know, very focused on work as well. Um, the moon energy can represent Pisces. Um, so let's see, I just want to get a couple cards here for the present and the future. Okay, so there may have been some deception in the past and an energy of like problems that just could not be brought to light, um, full clarity, um, somebody you needing to trust your intuition on things more than having actual clarity. Okay. Um, a lot of confusion. I just see you sitting here, Virgo, in the past, in between what's not seen and what the truth, trying to come to the truth about something. Now let's take a look. What was this deception? Okay, so the two of pentacles here. Maybe there was some juggling. Um, there may have been a decision or some choices or somebody was weighing their options and um, really just trying to balance things out and make a decision about, you know, a relationship or a connection with you or even to go into a higher level of commitment. Okay, let's take a look at you here. It's Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. Okay, there might have been a decision between two people, you and a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, um, or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay, but seems as if there was some potential truth that came to light in the past with the ace of swords okay there might have been some new conflict or some things that need to be overcome and i feel like your person it seems as if something was communicated to you uh, from them some truth was given to you from this person in the past okay um, let's take a look now some of you here could also be a Virgo on the cusp of Leo okay so that could represent you and if it wasn't two people it may have just been that this person might have had like might have had some emotional things or they were moody and trying to balance their moods or they may have thought that was thought that about you that maybe you were a little roller coastery with your emotions at times when maybe sometimes you could be um really fiery and passionate and other times you could be really stable and reserved so they could have been viewing you that way in the past um but I do see there was a very strong attraction to you from this person. And I definitely feel like this person was in a position where in the past, in their heart, in their mind, higher level of commitment was on the table and they did want something there with you. Yeah, look, 
the lovers. Now, either they told you that they loved you in the past. If they did, it was truthful. They meant it. Or um, they told you that they wanted to try to work on this partnership with you in some ways. Could also have been a truth that um, they were lo they're looking or they were looking to find someone whom they felt that match with. And for some of you also, it could have been you telling this person that you love them or telling them that you felt that connection, that lovers, that deep partnership, you know, um, that you wanted this person and you to choose each other. Um, or for others, it could have been you telling them you're looking for your other half. Okay. And maybe you were undecided. I kind of feel like both of you wound up in this position where you were both undecided about each other in the past okay it's like the love was there but there was some things just there's a sense of uncertainty in back then and not being sure about if maybe it could work I feel like you both were sure there was chemistry and that opportunity to uh, ascend to a higher level of commitment with each other was definitely on the table there but there was a little bit of like that two of pentacles kind of makes me feel like him and han like maybe maybe not maybe maybe not could have been you doing this or your person doing this or both of you reacting to each other where it was a lot of like up and downs between the two of you so the present energy love yourself first and forgiving and learning okay so you're in a position right now Virgo, probably of loving yourself at this time, like respecting yourself, putting yourself first, making yourself a priority. And there might be an energy here of you releasing and healing your past in some particular way so that you can receive more love in the present. Now, what's going on in the present here? So I feel like the Three of Wands is here. You know, Virgo, I have to tell you, <clears throat> I feel as if um, your person, whether you're in communication with them or not, I feel like your person presently has no intention of letting you go. And it kind of feels like to me, if you were to call or text this person, um, they would come. They would come to you because I feel like you're kind of, maybe you let them go like maybe you just finished you just ended this thing with them and there was a lot of wishy-washiness in in the past or maybe you both just went your separate ways but i feel like here it just seems like with the three of the threes are about communication and it makes me feel like your person is is like waiting for you or waiting to see what what could happen going forward um the knight of wands is here so this is a very lusty passionate free-spirited energy um so it could be waiting for someone to visit or waiting for someone to show up uh, or waiting for you to arrive or um, to send some, some kind of message or something. Maybe you put something out there and you're waiting to hear back or they put something out there and, and they're waiting for you or waiting to hear back from you. Let's take a look deeper at this Three of Wands. Oh, the Ace of Swords is here again. So now your person, there's some truth. Hmm. Your person is waiting for some truth from you, Virgo. I feel like um, they may be waiting or w hoping that you will forgive them for something that they've done um, or something from the past. I feel like if, if, you know, it feels to me like they're going to communicate with you and it seems like you're really, you might be a little blocked or they think that you block them or that you're not talking to them anymore. And it's like, as soon as you reach out, I feel like they'll come towards you. That Knight of Wands, that passionate, um, lusty, fiery thing, because I feel like your person like <laughs> still has that for you, but it might be dormant at this time. Let me take a look. Maybe because there hasn't been or there isn't any communication really. But I do feel like they have a truth and as soon as as soon as um, they get the opportunity to talk to you, I feel like they would. It could have something to do with travel. 
Um, they might say that they're blocked from traveling or blocked from connecting with you in the present. Let's see what the Knight of Wands is. Okay, Death card. Wow. Okay, so we have Scorpio and Gemini energy here also. So the, this Death card, wow, it just feels like to me, as soon as you say this word, say the word to them, they will transform, help to transform this relationship. I feel Virgo that you're kind of just like, you know what, I'm loving myself right now. I'm doing what I need to do for myself. I forgive, you know, everybody from A to Z so I can heal my past, so I can have more love in the present, but it feels like that might be very attractive to this person. Um, you know, I, I don't know that you're, you you might be going no contact some of you might be in no contact at all like you know doing that right now um and they're like waiting to hear from you and it feels like if if you were to reach out like they're waiting for you to reach out to them you might not be wanting to virgo you might just be like not not wanting to initiate and i feel like they want you to initiate but something in here with you is like for you, like, I feel like your person would come rushing because they don't want this thing to end, whatever it is, whatever this, I don't know what's going on. Let's see the four of pentacles. Yep, here you go, six of swords. So, <sighs> overcoming their fears. One of this person's fears is that they're very heavily blocked, like they guard their heart. And it seems like with this six of swords here, this is just an energy of basically overcoming your fears, you know, taking that risk, um, getting out of this tumultuous watery energy here, uh, you know, and just, you know, going into a calmer, peaceful place. Um, just kind of feels like a transition that needs to happen. And, and this person would be willing to relocate and move. But I feel like for some of you, they may think that if you've blocked them, that you're moving on you're moving on or you're just maybe you're not like physically moving on um some of you might be actually physically moving but there is an energy here of like kind of like you may not be really leaving this person but you may be leaving them where they are waiting for them to initiate something with you Okay, and I feel like they're waiting for you to initiate something with them. <laughs> what a mess. What a mess. Not sure what happened there in the past. Let me pull a card for the lovers. Okay. Somebody wanted change. Wanted things to change and get into like, um, you know, a loving relationship. Was it you? And maybe it was your person? Or maybe somebody moved on from that idea. Well, I don't know. I'm not sure. It, I, I have all these positive cards about that. The Ace of Wands. I feel like you and your person truly did love each other, but there was just way too much. I don't know, you guys. Just it was really hard for you both to get into balance, to get in the, on the, you know, like on the seesaw to be balanced. You know, you both one was up and the other was down, and then one was down, and the other was up. There was a lot of like up and down. It feels like. So let's take a look at the future. Separation and release your ex. Virgo. It looks like you're done. <clears throat> I don't think, I don't see you reaching out to this person. And I don't see them initiating anything with you. It almost feels like you're letting this thing go. And this person, look at them here. Four of cups, three of swords, five of cups. Heartbreak regret remorse i don't even know that you're you know intentionally trying to hurt anybody here i just feel like you're you're healing something you're loving yourself respecting yourself you're you're telling yourself you know i can release this and because i feel like i deserve better i think you might maybe you worry this person's going to come back in and then the cycle will keep repeating and maybe you just don't have the energy to keep doing that anymore that same dynamic would you take this person and, and meet them halfway and 
have that love with them again if it were played if it's playing out differently in a more healthier way then yes but Virgo it just kind of feels to me like takes two to tango and I feel like you want to very much be around someone who's going to appreciate you and and you know acknowledge you and love you and be consistent and someone that you can be in a relationship that you feel safe and secure with and rightly so you know so i feel um it, it's like i feel like it's separation for you and this person but i also feel since this is their reading that your person may have had a connection with someone that was difficult that they couldn't let go of for some of you that might have had something to do with what was going on up here in the past where there was like some you know either two choices or your person had a phantom ex that they still couldn't get that energy out and it looks like they very well may be releasing that person while you're releasing them do you understand they're clearing out that energy of a past ex or someone that hurt them and at the same time you are clearing out the energy of your person which sometimes can be good because further down the line you both release your need for this person to come into alignment with you and their need to compare you with their last ex and not be able to let go there was still some kind of third party and the third party very well just could have been memories or trauma so let's take a look I'll get more clarity this four of cups here is really just a sense of feeling unfulfilled your person is not someone who they have a hard time getting their emotional needs met yep look three of cups so there they are they're either out there socializing with others or dating others. It might feel sad or indifferent to the fact that maybe you are trying to socialize more and live your life, but they also might not be finding their emotional needs or getting met with other people they may be talking to, or if they're dating other people going forward. They're indifferent. If you're dealing with a man who's interested in women, your person is showing up here like doesn't want love from those other people they're not they're indifferent to it all right i just lost that card so we're done with it anyway so why is the three of swords here oh my goodness and it showed up when i pulled it it was in reverse so three of swords again healing a heartbreak wow and the three of swords reverse reduces to the two and the two of swords is always about making a compromise it's time to compromise make a decision and it's also recovery it's apologies it's recovering after a loss and a physical physical healing so it could be, you know, if you decide that you're done, this person, and they're, you're letting them go, they're letting their past go, and this person now, I feel like, is going through some kind of healing process in the future, and some grieving with that Five of Cups here. And there's an energy of, like, loss and regret and some grief, and just maybe even feeling abandoned or unloved if you decide that, you know, you're not going to initiate it's not that you don't love them um, at all. It's just that you don't feel loved by them. It maybe at one time you did feel that way. It was strong. Look, the Ace of Cups. Didn't we almost have it all? <laughs> Your person, listen, let them go through this process whatever they're grieving or whatever trying to figure out about your relationship right i feel like your main thing right now and for both of you is to forgive past people or to let go of the past and any kind of hurt you both might have felt from other people and from each other and to love yourselves make yourselves a priority and grieve these losses from the past both of you i see that happening because i feel like this is both of you 
See, releasing your ex is, this card speaks about it being time to clear your energy. That energy of the ex, okay? Not so much, um, like for some of you it can be, the physical releasing, like no more, but in the energetic state, whatever's the residual, where you still think about that person, you know, when enough time goes by and the heartbreak and you heal, <clears throat> you don't think about the person anymore to the depth that you used to. And so I feel like this energy is, is playing out for both of you, but I also feel like this grieving is a blessing here, this sense of um, feeling those emotions for both of you is a blessing because the Ace of Cups then comes out and this is like a new spring beginning happens here. That's why I was saying that in the future, this kind of feels like a good like a good thing. Okay, it, it does, it feels positive. <clears throat> it's all about the journey, right? And you, you and your person, um, were, I don't know if the timing just wasn't right. Are you both were on some kind of journey separately? And then you kind of like bumped into each other on your journeys, but you still had a path to walk and they still had a path to walk. But something happened where there was a spark, a magnetic attraction, and, and it became difficult for you both to let each other go. Yet you knew that maybe it just wasn't going to be the right timing or things wouldn't work out. I lost myself for a little while. Your person, this relationship deserves a second chance. You know, I know some of you on your like third and your fourth, <laughs> just take it as it resonates, you know. It deserves another chance, okay? I know that I crossed the line with you, okay? I feel like there might be some regret or remorse about something that your person might have said or done that just really crossed the line for you and, and, and did something to you or to this relationship that maybe cemented it in the fact that it's done. Yep, interference, an external party is intruding on this relationship. Now, for some of you, it could have been somebody else, person, place, thing, or, you know, thing being an energetic thing. Um, but your true love is already part of your life, okay? So I feel like this is your true love. Um, I'm not telling you, of course, to sit back and wait <laughs> at all. I feel like you should continue to live your life and be as happy as you can. And if somebody else comes into your life for a go that... You know, I mean, you never know how things are going to go and, and things could heal with you and your person. You just don't know. But the, the thing here right now is you need to stay in a place of being respecting yourself because that will attract romantic love to you, whether it's your person or somebody new. Okay, this person, I know I messed up everything. Huh, they got some heavy guilt or grief or something going on within them they don't want to lose you but they're not initiating partially because they feel like maybe you're not going to accept or you don't want to or they don't know if they deserve you after some past stuff but this is your soulmate and they do love and accept you so you should know that i don't feel like you really did anything wrong virgo um, I just feel like you knew you both loved each other and you both wanted things to change, but there was a lot of unknown and you wanted to have a turning point, both of you, but it was really hard for you both to get on the same page in the past, but they do feel you were the best thing in my life. So let's get one more card for you, Virgo, to see what your advice is here. More advice for Virgo going forward. Okay. Page of fire. So, enthusiastic. Be enthusiastic about your life. Be open and optimistic. Creative. Be impatient with your life, Virgo. Don't sit around and wait for things to happen. Okay. There is news of exciting opportunities. Embrace them when they come. Allow any creativity that you have within you to soar. Do things that fuel your passion and 
finish what you start. So whatever's going on in your life at this time, do not let that set you back. If you have a setback, get right back up on the horse and keep moving forward. Okay, that's your advice at this time. I hope that you enjoy this reading and I will see you guys tomorrow. Take care.